welcome to freshman registration. High school will be some of the best moments that you will remember forever. There will be challenges, of course, but as a result, you will grow in ways you never thought possible. With the help of some of our National Honor Society members and forensic students, we have created a short video to provide you with information that will be helpful as you begin your journey as a freshman in high school. Eighth graders, this is a really exciting time thinking about high school and all the fun activities that go along with it. Some of you might already be thinking about the classes that you need to take to be a nurse or an engineer or maybe an auto mechanic. And some of you still have no idea what you want to do after high school. And that's okay. Academic and career planning is a process and it's my job to help you navigate that process over the next four years. Step one is building a strong high school transcript, which is a record of all the classes you will take throughout high school. Your high school courses are the foundation to your future plans. So think about planning the next four years as though you're drawing a blueprint to build a house. What will your house look like in four years? Will your house look like this by your senior year? It's not the greatest floor plan, but the structure's there, no permanent damage, and there'll be people along the way to help you flip it and get on the right track. It might, however, delay your future goals, which means it might take a little bit more time, a little bit more money to get to where you want to be. Or does your house look like this? Well planned out, well structured, fits your personality and meets your goals. Again, this is a process. Your teachers, parents, myself, are here to help you develop a floor plan that fits you and who you are and what you want to achieve. And that begins with your freshman class schedule. Who knows better about this process than current high school students? Our NHS and forensic students are here to provide you with some helpful tips. So pay attention and enjoy. In core knowledge, there are math, history, English, and science. These are all required for you to take throughout your high school career, but there are different teachers and different class types you can take. Hi, I'm Mr. Lang. Just a reminder for you incoming freshmen that your required social study courses will be civics and world geography. After your freshman year, your course work will be pretty much laid out for you. Remember, you need 3.5 social science credits to graduate from River Ridge High School. Two examples of math sequences are Algebra A, Algebra B, Geometry, and Algebra 2. Or you can go Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and Pre-Calc. If you're wondering whether or not you should take Alg A or Alg 1, this depends on your future plans, current grades, and your middle school teacher recommendations. Miss Ellis will tell you all about it. Hi, I'm Miss Ellis. I'm one of the two math teachers here in the high school. Uh, and you're probably wondering if you should take Algebra A or Algebra 1. Uh, so just a few things to keep in mind. You need three credits of math to graduate from high school. Uh, and your future plans also play a role. Uh, just think if you're going to a four-year college, you need Algebra 2 as a requirement there, um, which is reachable either Algebra A or Algebra 1 way. Uh, if you're currently getting an A or a B, um, you should be taking Algebra 1. Um, if you're not getting an A or a B and you want to take Algebra 1, Mrs. Sarah's is going to need to recommend you for Algebra 1. Otherwise, probably Algebra A would be your best route. Uh, if you're in Algebra 1 and it becomes too difficult, there is an option to drop down to Algebra A. However, the other way is not. Uh, if you're taking Algebra A and it's too easy, Algebra 1 will already have surpassed where you're at, so that transition would not work. Uh, so some sequences for your three credits of math. You could take Algebra A and Algebra B, which is one year equivalent of Algebra 1. Uh, and then you could go Consumer if you are going towards a trade school. Um, otherwise, the other option would be Algebra A, Algebra B, Geometry, and then into that Algebra 2 if you're looking at that four year. Uh, if you start with Algebra 1, the sequence would be Algebra 1, Geometry. If you're not going four year, Consumer Math could be a next option. 
um, or Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and then possibly Pre-Calc. Computer and manufacturing fields such as computer programming, electromechanical technology, mechanical design, and welding require algebra. When taking an English course at River Ridge, freshman and sophomore year are required to take English 9 and English 10, but depending on the career you're looking to advance in the future, you can take more advanced or easier courses your junior and senior year. And Ms. Drone will tell you more about that upcoming. Hi, I'm Mrs. Drone, high school English teacher. When you get to high school, you'll be in English classes for four years. So there are some choices you have, but not for a couple of years. Uh, Ms. Townsend has put together a typical sequence for depending on what path you were going to take in high school. All freshmen have to take English 9. All sophomores have to take English 10. So that is the same for those two years. Once you get to be juniors and seniors, you have some choices. The left side of this shows the choices that you have if you're thinking more of a four-year college. So we have classes like American Literature, Advanced Comp 1, that prepare you for college. Um, some of our more uh, advanced students in English take AP Language as juniors. That's a relatively new class that we've offered, so you have that to look forward to. And as seniors, again, you have some choices as Senior English, Advanced Comp 2, or again, another AP class that transfers, that you can get credits for for college as well. If you're not thinking four year, the other option is as a junior, you could take modern, lit modern literature and English essentials. And then as a senior, oral, interpret oral interpretive communication and written communications, which both transfer to Southwest Tech. So either option kind of gives you a leg up as far as what is next for you. And you have a little bit of choice, but not for a couple of years. So I look forward to seeing you in the hallways next year. Science is one of the core academic programs. As a freshman, you have to take integrated science, and as a sophomore, you'll have to take biology. Biology is a prerequisite to all the other science electives. Um, Mr. O will discuss that in more detail. Hey, freshmen. I'm Mr. Osterday. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our science department here at River Ridge. Um, as a freshman coming in, you don't have choices. You have a class to take called integrated science ninth grade required science here at River Ridge. Integrated science uh, puts together the four basic science categories that we study, biology, chemistry, earth and space science, along with physics. That'll give you a pretty good background to uh, carry on further through, through high school. As a sophomore, you'll be taking biology. Now, biology is a prerequisite for the advanced sciences that we have. Uh, biology is one of those classes that's very important as far as a college entrance class goes. As a junior and a senior, you have a lot more options now. Um, we have anatomy, chemistry, APS, which stands for Advanced Physical Science, which is really an earth science class, and then physics, advanced biology, and AP biology, which is advanced placement biology. Now, in, in, at River Ridge, we require three science credits to graduate, but a lot of our students will graduate with anywhere from four to six science credits. So that means as a junior and a senior, you might do some doubling up. Um, a typical double up uh, situation would be maybe anatomy and chemistry as a junior, uh, physics, advanced bio as a senior, um, just as an example. Uh, but you can obviously mix and match those uh, pretty much any way you want. However, uh, the reason I have 12th grade and physics, advanced bio, and AP listed up here on the board is because these classes are generally reserved for seniors. And the reason for that is uh, these classes require about as much background as you can have for science courses. And so, um, you know, given the fact that you have the opportunity to take these three classes as a junior, that will give you some more background to take uh, these classes as a senior. So when you get here as a freshman, uh, you're spending your freshman year in integrated science. That will give you a lot of time to discuss you know, your future plans with, with teachers, with your guidance counselor, um, with your parents, and maybe even with uh, other students. Um, so whatever your career goals might be, whatever your college, uh, VOTEC, workforce goals might be, uh, we do have a lot of options for you here in the science department, so uh, be sure to communicate well with uh, your teachers 
and uh, we can try to get you into the best uh, mm -hmm. sequence that, that works best for you as far as uh, satisfying your goals. And we look forward to seeing you in the fall. What are your goals? Don't panic, you have plenty of time to think about them, and you have many options you can go with. One being, while you're a senior in high school, you can do a program called School to Work. It's where you go to school in the morning, you go to work for an employer in the afternoon. Then after high school, you have a few options also. You can go straight to the workforce, you can go to the military, you can get a two-year degree, you can get a four-year degree. Straight into the workforce, you just graduate high school, and you go find a job right away. Military, you can go to the military, and they can potentially fully pay for your college. A two-year degree, we go to a two-year college and you get your associate's degree. A four-year degree is where you go to a four-year college and get your bachelor's degree. 90% of jobs in today's workforce will require a post-secondary education. The workforce that you will be entering will be highly competitive, fast-changing, and highly technical. Some examples of this include business, health, engineering, and education. Four-year universities require four credits of English, three credits of math, three credits of social science, three credits of regular science, two credits of other core electives, and two credits of other electives. This totals to 17 required credits. Two years of foreign language is also highly recommended for four-year students. Entrance requirements may include a class rank of the top 25 to 50% and an ACT of 21 to 26. Two-year transfer colleges require four credits of English, three credits of math, three credits of social sciences, three credits of science, two credits of core electives, and two credits of other electives, coming to a total of 17 credits. They also require a class rank of the top 25% and, an, and they require an ACT. In order to graduate from River Ridge, you must have a total of four credits of English, three credits of math, three credits of science, three and a half credits of social science, a half a credit of health, one and a half credits of phi ed, and eight and a half credits of electives for a total of 24 credits altogether. You also must pass the U.S. citizenship test before graduation. As a freshman at River Ridge, you must take English 9, Integrated Science, Algebra A or Algebra 1, Civics and Geography, phi ed, and two credits of electives for a minimum of six and a half credits and a maximum of eight credits. In addition to the required freshman classes, you have the opportunity to take some electives such as Intro to Business, Computer Apps, Spanish, Art, Woodworking, and Music. You have to take Ag 9 in order to get into any other Ag classes. During your high school career, you develop skills that are valued by employers such as communication skills, honesty, interpersonal skills, strong work ethic, teamwork skills, motivation, computer skills, leadership skills, organizational skills, and attendance. These skills are developed by participation in academics as well as extracurricular activities. Out of all of these attributes mentioned, the number one seems to be attendance. In all the years of writing letters of recommendations for students and then receiving a phone call from a potential employer or perhaps a college admissions person, by far the number one question they ask deals with attendance and dependability. Hi, this is Mrs. Dilly. I'm here from the Technology Committee to explain to you our one-to-one -one Chromebook initiative. A couple years back, we had decided to have the 9th through 12th graders be issued their own Chromebook. What this will be is that it's issued directly to the students. So unlike 7th and 8th grade where this, the Chromebook was checked out to you, this will actually be issued to you. And then the goal is that upon graduation, seniors will have the opportunity to keep their Chromebooks with, to take with them. One thing we have offered is to have a um, Chromebook protection plan. So each parent will need to sign the protection plan policy, whether you choose to opt in or opt out. There is a 35 technology fee, which I'll explain on the next slide. All of the Chromebooks are issued a protective case for each Chromebook, although the cases are reinforced to help protect the Chromebooks, they're not guaranteed to prevent damage. Removal of that case could void the Chromebook protection policy. Um, so do be sure to keep that on. What the Chromebook protection policy does cover is things like accidental damage from handling, damage from drops such as cracks, dings, housing damage or shattered screens, liquid damage from spills um, to a full submersion. 
um, theft, as long as it's a non-burglary, devices that are stolen. Um, so other perils like fire, flood, vandalism, and natural disasters would be covered as well under this protection policy. So like I said, everybody will be required to sign one and mark is indicated if you are opting in or opting out. If you opt in, there is a yearly premium of $35 per student or $100 for a family. And this is again applies to all the high school. If you do choose to opt out and not pay the $35 fee, um, payments of repair or replacement costs will be made through the school office uh, per occurrence. And to kind of make sure everybody's aware of this, the costs that we have estimated if you did opt out of the protection plan, a total replacement of the Chromebook could be anywhere up to um, about $189, a screen repair, 45, keyboard touch pad, if you'd have to replace that um, anywhere between 99 and a new power cord if that is lost um, or stolen would be around $18. Um, so you can see that that would add up quickly. So you do wanna kind of decide if you want to opt into the protection plan and pay the $35 annual fee. Or again, if you opt out, uh, you should be aware that that is a per occurrence if there's um, damages to the Chromebook. Each student will receive their Chromebook on the first day of school if their technology agreement is signed and turned in the office ahead of time. So here's a sample. You can also find a sample on the River Ridge website it goes over what is covered and it goes over the $35 fee. Again, everyone will have to sign this and indicating whether you opt into the protection plan or if you're choosing to opt out. If you have any questions, you can certainly ask the office or a technology committee member. Thank you. There are a few other important documents you will want to check out. You can pause the video as needed to look these over. Also, the River Ridge webpage has lots of information. When school starts in the fall, Mr. Winkers will discuss the student handbook rules with all students, topics such as scheduling, discipline policy, attendance laws, dress code, cell phone usage, Chromebook usage, bullying and harassment laws, co-curricular physical cards and meetings. This information can also be found on the River Ridge website. Remember, academics are the top priority as a high school student, but an awesome part of being in high school is to be involved in co-curriculars and have some incredibly fun and memorable experiences. River Ridge has many clubs and organizations to participate in, such as Student Council, Forensics, Science Club, FBLA, Outdoor Club, FCA, and NHS. We also have Art Club, Wellness Club, Pet Band, FFA, Safe Club, Yearbook, and Friends Helping Friends. And if that isn't enough, there's also Leo's Club, Missoula Theater, Pep Club, Trap Shooting, and School Newspaper. And if you're into sports, there are many opportunities like cross country, volleyball, football, dance, basketball, wrestling, track and field, softball, and baseball. So get involved and make some great memories. Best of all, get involved in co-curriculars. That concludes our freshman registration. If you have any questions at all, or you'd like to sit down with me to develop a four-year plan, look at the classes you're gonna take for the next four years, stop in and let's do that. On behalf of myself and the River Ridge teachers, we look forward to seeing you this fall.